So short moments is very, very powerful. So right now we can just take a short moment where we just stop the thinking. Just for a brief second, we just take a break. Give ourselves a break. And there you can see that there's something about our mind that is totally calm, that is clear, cognizant, aware, that in us that is looking, that part of us that never changes, it's always the same. And then of course you can take that even further and, and see that if you take short moments more and more you will see that it grows longer and longer. And the key instruction for us is to do that over and over again. So in the beginning you might feel that nothing special is happening. For some, when you stop thinking, it's really powerful because you have the sense of, wow, there is something in me that is totally stable. But for some people, it might be like, so what? But then the key instruction is to do that again and again. Because then you see that there is more and more this soothing energy inside. Something in us that is totally stable and that never changes. So what happens then, it would be like you have a sense of living in a, in a valley, for example. You're living in, in that and you have your perspective of things is very limited. You just see what is going on in the valley. But by taking short moments again and again, it's like you're moving up to the mountain. You can see more clearly what is going on. So that is very, also very powerful to do, to just see that open intelligence, as we are speaking about here, is really a new, a totally new way of using your intelligence. And that is why we call it open intelligence, instead of reified intelligence. And in reified intelligence, what you do is that you focus always on the content of the mind. So that could be the only thing that you can see then. You could say it could be like w always walking and looking down to the ground never really seeing what's going on. So in a short moment it's like you're lifting your head and you just see so much more clearly what is going on with, with, your, with you and where everything is happening. So in that way we can very quickly introduce ourselves to open intelligence. And of course, then if you want to be on the mountainside Maybe you, if you are like me, you just decided this is something I can do for myself. So then you just decide I'm going to climb that mountain myself. But this is a bad choice. It's really a bad choice. It's, such, it's so much more powerful to use what we call the four mainstays here in the balanced view. And the, balance, the four mainstays basically is our support system. And the support system is, of course, first short moments. That's the technique that we are using again and again. And then we have the trainer. And the trainer is one that you can always write to and contact when you feel that the short moments is not enough for you. And then we have the instructions, we have all the written materials, and we have our website, where you have all the instructions that you need. And then the other part, the very important part, is the community all us sitting here and in that way we can inspire each other we can help each other to really um, be inspired basically by each other so let's say now you want to climb the mountain so then it could be very wise to when you're climbing the mountain you need a guide you need a guide up there you need some someone that has been there before so then you can contact your, your trainer and you can use all the four mainstays to really be be confident in the way. Otherwise it would be crazy to try to get up there yourself. So that is something that we use to really support each other. But every, every part of the Four Mainstays is basically a, a way of taking a short moment, you could say. It's a support system that we always need. And I would say that uh, without the Four Mainstays I wouldn't be the one that I am today. It's such a, a powerful support to have that kind of, of um, practical advice always in, in your life and in, in this 
um, in this way of, of growing in, in stability and have that perfect, perfect mental and emotional stability. And of course when we start to relax more, more things are coming up for us. And for example, excitement can come up. And I can see that for myself, that when I started to relax more, there, was, there wasn't just afflictive states like anxiety or depression or anger coming up. But there was also very strong longings and there were falling in love kind of feelings and even strong excitement coming up. But then it's very important to see that whatever comes up in life, there's always the same solution. And of course, another way of describing anxiety, excitement or anxiety could be just to say, see that it's, it's really life energy. It's really <clears throat> that powerful um, force in us that want to connect with other people. If you take sexual energy, for example, that's the urge to really connect with other people. And I can see when I'm sitting here, for example, the excitement of trying to share with you all and just to try to relax with all that excitement and, and really to just use it as a tool for being able to move forward in life is such a powerful um, way of doing that, I think. So whatever comes up in life, it's so important to just deeply re rest with it and just see that whatever comes up, you can really use that as as a, as a fuel in life. And of course another thing that comes up for us maybe might be ill will and, and, and maybe a sense of wanting to hurt people and, and all the anger that comes up. It's because when you really relax the mind everything comes up. So ill will is just another description of, of what we could call beneficial energy. I can see in my own life for example that when I don't describe my experience so, so firmly, I just see more and more that things like ill will or anger or whatever it is, you can really extract the power from that. And you can use it as something that is really just a reminder to relax first of all, and then to see that it's really very powerful energy that we can use to not to act out in any way, but just to have it inside and to use it as a fuel. So many times ill will is just something that reminds us to be gentle with ourselves and just more and more relax into that. <clears throat>